Whoa, finally made it up here. This old beautiful copper dome was built in the 1890s. And it had a lot of tar and mastic on it, which was covering it. Now, normally speaking, copper, you like copper to stay green, okay? But there's been a trend today to turn copper back to a bright, shiny look. And uh, we've developed these products that'll do it. Now, the first one is what we call our, our copper pre-wash. What this does is it takes the copper, and it takes the green off the copper, but it doesn't leave the copper how you'd like it to look. But it does get the green off, and that's the first step. And each one of these processes has to be neutralized with water. Then the next stage is you apply the brightener. And what this brightener does is it takes the copper and makes it one uniform color. And this one also has to be neutralized with water. And after you've done that, you've got uh, ordinary steel wool that you rub on the copper with water to get the mirror finish. Now the contractor's name who's doing this here job in Green Bay is Rick Jakes. Uh, he's already got started. He's got a good portion of this roof, uh, of this dome done. So let's go up there and just see what, uh, what he's accomplished. Here we've got the best workers in the world from Jakes Construction, right guys? Yeah. Yeah, you see how energetic they are. This, this yeah. time of the day they're working overtime. So how late you working today? About six. About six o'clock. So how, how long you got to get this thing done? Are we talking about next week sometime or what? Um, we think about Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Okay. So what step or what was that you just put on there? Was that the pre-wash? Yes, this is the copper pre-wash. That's the pre-wash right here, huh? You put on a brightener. Brightener here. So it's going better now that you're down this far? Or oh, yeah. Starting to move, make a little time, huh? Yeah. Going quicker now. But we just go look at a fellow here. This, this is Daryl, right? Yeah. And we got yep. Joel over here, Joel Klaus, and Mike Aykroyd. That's Daryl Freeman. I'm going to have to show this film to your boss here so you guys get a raise. You're working pretty hard. Yeah. This is a real important tool that these fellas came up with. This is a uh, what you call a floor buffing pad. This is a Velcro pad, and all you do is uh, press it on there. Instead of using dry steel, well, this saves a lot of elbow grease. So we're going to let Mike continue with this. Well, this takes the final stains out of that, right, Mike? Yep, sure does. It gives all like stains like this. It takes them right out. Takes them right out. Well, while Mike is doing that, I'd like to go up to the top to show you what that it off. takes it right off. Great. Let's get a shot on the top here and show you how it looks, what we've done already. Now this whole section's been, been cleaned and sealed. And the eagles look real good. I don't know if you can get a shot of them. Well, as I promised you, we'd come back here as soon as this project was completed. And they've taken the scaffolding down. It's a little bit chilly. This is November right now. But this project has turned out absolutely beautiful. That copper looks magnificent from all different types of vantage points around this town. And I was just talking to the architect, and he says, superb. So uh, there's still a little bit more work that has to go on up there. There's copper that the fellows are putting on. They're going to let this other copper age out so that this tower is going to stand out all by itself. Uh, we're going to monitor this copper restoration for the next several years to see what, what we're going to get. We expect it's going to go a little bronzy color. Now, we've got some samples that have been out in the field for the last five years that have shown us a little bronzy uh, hue to them after about five years. So uh, that doesn't look bad. It looks kind of antique and looks absolutely neat. Now, there's other benefits that are attained from, the, uh, from this here system. This coating that we put over the copper also protects against acid rain and atmospheric pollutants from uh, oxidizing the metal. So it's not just for aesthetic appearances that we put this metal plate on the, on the copper. Now, uh, we'd like to thank the, uh, 
the general contractor, Emil Construction. I'd like to give thanks to uh, Rick Patterson from uh, Jake's Construction, who actually did the work. And I'd also like to mention Ed Bemis from CPR and Associates, the architectural firm that's involved in this here project. Now, until we meet again, I'm Jack Tadish for American Building Restoration Products.